Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Holly. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. I'm happy to have you join my YouTube family. Today I'm sharing a recipe, a uh, very simple, easy thing to make. Uh, it's similar to a recipe I made a while back, uh, just a little different. The one I made before was a lazy day lasagna with cheese ravioli. This one is a cheese tortellini bake and it really is good um, and this is what you need. You will need one bag of cheese tortellini. Uh, it says a 20 ounce bag. This is only a 19 ounce, but this worked fine. One block of cream cheese and you will cube this up when we put this in the pan. Uh, one to two cups of mozzarella shredded and I'm using two cups. A half a cup of shredded or grated Parmesan cheese one 24 ounce bottle of a jar of any type of uh, sauce. I'm using the marinara. Garlic powder, Italian seasoning, and black pepper is what I'm using to season the ground meat. You need one pound of ground meat. But you can use any type of seasoning that you'd like. It doesn't have to be what I'm using. Uh, just whatever you feel would pair well with this. So I'm gonna first just season it with some garlic powder and I'm not putting a specific amount I'm just going to sprinkle it on some Italian seasoning and just a little bit of black pepper now as I cook this down it will some of the seasoning will go away with um, the grease so you want to you definitely want to drain that off when it's done so I do add just a little bit more of the seasoning because I know that's going to happen. Um, and you could also, after you, after you drain the grease off, you can always add a little bit more seasoning onto the meat if you'd like. But I felt this worked fine and it was seasoned. Now once it's cooked through and it's drained, then add your jar of pasta sauce, whichever one you'd like to use. As I said, I like to use the marinara sauce in these type of dishes. I just feel like it, it has a good flavor. And you wanna just mix that in really well to incorporate. You wanna cover that meat and everything with the sauce. And you will cook your tortellini according to the package directions. And it says to have it al dente, and I cooked mine for about five minutes. But then add your cream cheese and you do want to cut these up in little blocks just so that way it's easier to melt and it'll go a little bit quicker. So all you will do is just melt that cream cheese into that sauce and it will take a few minutes and once I have it all melted then I add the cooked tortellini to the sauce and just stir it well just to coat the tortellini with the sauce. Now spray a 9 by 13 inch baking dish uh, with some just non-stick cooking spray and then you will pour that mixture into the pan and then just start layering uh, the cheese on top and just spread it out as evenly as you can get it and you can add more cheese if you'd like now add your grated parmesan cheese or the shredded whichever one you prefer to use And I wipe off the sides of that pan a little bit because of the sauce. I don't want that to burn. Just makes it a little bit easier to clean up. But this is what it looks like when it's done. You cook this on 350 for about 20 minutes or so until that cheese gets brown. And then just plate it and we had it with some broccoli and some garlic knots, uh, garlic bread. And it really was delicious. It's really a simple meal to make great for a weeknight 
and I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up if you're interested in seeing more videos like it please click that subscribe button and the notification bell that will notify you when I post new videos I hope everyone has a blessed day and a great week ahead God bless y'all